Minasan, welcome to another episode of Outer Space Reviews. So in today's episode, what we're doing is we're actually in the kitchen. And we are going to be cooking from the Pokemon cooking book. Whoa! So there are 35 different recipes ranging from dinner, desserts, lunch, and bento box suggestions. We're going to be doing two, and then we're going to do a comparison, um, expectation versus reality, and to see if my art skills for food is any good. Probably not. <laughs> we'll give it a shot anyway, so let's dive into it. We got the Diglett potato field, and also then we're going to do a cake, the Pikachu happy face cake. That's what we're going to be doing, so let's get started on the diggerettes. First thing you're going to need, going to need some potatoes. So what you're going to have to do is get two potatoes at least, depending on how many people you're feeding. Wash your potatoes thoroughly, and then get a paper towel and wrap them up as such. Whoa. Then chuck them into the microwave four to five minutes at least until they get a bit soft. So these ones we've just done. Get a toothpick and give it a stab to see how soft it is. While you're waiting for them to microwave, you can then put some water on the uh, stove. Preferably not like that. So, you're gonna get some So, as you can see in the background, we've been boiling some water. Why? Because we're gonna need that for the hot dogs for the diglets. We got some thin beef barbecue sausages. We're gonna chuck them into the pot. We've already separated them, so they're all individual now. What you should do is wait for the water to boil first before you throw them in, otherwise it's not gonna cook properly, it'll take forever. We can see here, with the steam rising and the water boiling, we are going to chuck them in while we're waiting for these potato boys to uh, cool down just a little bit more so we can get stuck into them. We're gonna have some boiled sausages. Also, this is blasphemy because we are Australians and we barbecue them. We don't boil them like the Americans, so hot dog style. We like the Sangers that you get at uh, Bunnings and whatnot. So let's pop that on, let them boil for a bit. I actually don't know how long for. YOLO. Once the potatoes are cool to the touch, peel the skin off and cut to wedges. Place potatoes on a plate. All right, so we're gonna get these potatoes and we're gonna skin them alive. Always pay attention to your sausages. Not like me, because I'm looking at a camera, but uh, put a fan on just so you don't get any uh, steam ruining all your stuff around, like these uh, plushies. Don't worry about those ones, they're cheap. These ones that probably cost more than those ones. Oh. Anyway, let's uh, skin these potatoes. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them up like rocks. All right, let's cut it up. Ah, these are still hot, so I'm gonna use this to cut normally, like a normal person. Ooh, look at that golden brown. Ooh, my sausages. These diglets are not gonna come up very good. So we'll take the lid off, just let them boil as such. Ooh, look at that. The skin's just come off. Good enough. These hot dogs are starting to look more diglity. Good, I was getting worried, they're a bit too pink. Um, this one we're just gonna cut, yeah. Yeah. We got this Pokemon plate that we got from Misudo in Japan last year. Up there, we're gonna pop them on the field. We're gonna go blop, blop, blop. All right, let's see how our hot dogs are going. They have shed their skin. <laughs> We're going to turn it off and let it just boil with the heat that it is. All right, so with your sausages cooling down, remember we're going to grab them. We're going to grab some. Don't need that many at this point, so we only need about five or six. So get some tongs. We'll have to censor that. So we're just going to make cuts here and here for each of them. Ooh. This one's shedding its skin, it's just like wah, wah, nah. All right, then we're gonna get some beans. Drain it out, drain it out. Clean your beans, bean your cleans. Wet your dries and dry your wets. And then wet your wets, cause beans are wet. So you gotta wet them again. Put it from the can into a bowl or whatever. All right, so with this next part, we're gonna use glue, food glue. What is food glue? Food glue could be anything you want it to be. It can be ketchup or tomato sauce, as we call it here, or barbecue sauce. We're gonna use some spicy sriracha mayo. Get your digwit. Ooh. And then we're just gonna to try to coat them. Like at the front. I'm gonna go like that. That should do it. And then we're gonna grab a 
kidney bean. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, do it like that. Something wrong with him. Then it says here to use some sesame seeds, but we have poppy seeds. This is terrible already. I'm gonna put it on here. It's too much, it's too much, no mas, no mas. There's a diglet. <laughs> Cut the end here. Cut the end there, oh my God. Ah, God damn. I'm gonna get some mayo here and some mayo there. And we're gonna slap that nose on right here. It's definitely not coming off now. And with our applicator, get some of these poppy seeds to make like a some form of eye. I don't know. Don't at me. Eh. Ah! He's dead now. This diglet will go here. There we go. Shit. There we go. Two more. <laughs> We're gonna need some more poppy seeds for their munty eyes. That one's a bit better. Oh, some of them are losing their nose. Oh my gosh. There we go from farm to table. <laughs> there we go. That's what our diglets look like at the moment. Ugh. Hey, why was I born? Why was I born? Now we're gonna make it look just a little bit more presentable after I eat these sausages. All right, so we're gonna finish it off. Get the beans that we prepared earlier. These beans. Sprinkle them around the plate. Gets that beanie goodness. Then we got some parsley here for some greenage. Some nom de plume right there. Blop. That's for me. Halt. Oh. Yeah, big tree in the middle. How's that sound? There we go. That's how we do it the Diglett Potato Field. On our Facebook page, if you're gonna make some, uh, post to our group and try to compare. Did you do better than us? So we're moving on to the Pikachu Happy Face Cake. All right, so just remember, first thing is you're gonna need a plate to put the cake on. We're gonna put it on this Eevee plate that we got at the Pokemon Cafe. Let's get started. So what we're gonna need is some sponge cake or similar. First thing you gotta do is you gotta get the strawberries, wash them and remove the leaves. You slice them vertically into quarter inch portions. So you only need about eight to 10 strawberries, so boop. Because some of them will become Pikachu's uh, cheeks and the rest of it's gonna be the cake itself. That'll do for now, so we're gonna cut them up. Boop, and boop. Cool. So that's that part down. Uh, mix the whipping cream with two tablespoons of sugar and whip until stiff. We got 300 mils. <laughs> Clean up the mess. Um, there's our bowl. We got some caster sugar. Let's try not to go too crazy with the sugar. One and two, there we go. Get the milk in there. Now let's whip it. Until stiff, oh, it's gonna be a long time. All right, so it's starting to get a bit stiff. So that means the cream is done. So we'll move on to the next part. Get a cup. We'll just do it in a bowl, be easier. In a little kitty cat bowl, boom. Cause that's gonna be our syrup. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it too sugary. Then you're gonna get some water over the top and uh, measure that in as such. All right, we're gonna mix our sugar water up and then we're gonna put it in the microwave for 15 to 30 seconds. And in the microwave we go and we're gonna move on to the next part. Ugh. Um, when the liquid is cooled, add two teaspoons of lemon juice to create less syrup. Yes, there we go. And we've got our lemon juice right here. All right, now is the cake part. I'm gonna cut out Pikachu's face. So prepare for fail. Cake. Cake. All right, so now that the uh, syrup concoction is cooling down, I'm gonna get two teaspoons, teaspoons of lemon juice. Yeah, and meh. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a mix. That's our syrup. That's going everywhere. Yeah. All right, so we're moving on to the cake. So it calls for um, eight pieces. So we got two. So what we're gonna do is we can cut it into eight fourths, quarters. Just realized that we gotta cut these cakes in half again, cause um, it's gonna be a layered cake. So just go for gold. Sponge cut. We're gonna make a peek ahead. Everything's peeker. Peeker this, peeker that, peeker world. 
This is gonna be a weirdly shaped Pikachu. He had issues when he was young. Something wrong with my Pikachu. So we're gonna need those uh, cutoffs later. We're gonna plop it over to our Eevee. Now we're gonna get our Pika ears. But remember, cut them in half. It's like, yes, I wanna eat the cake. <sighs> ears. Ooh. He's gonna have one bigger ear. Deal with it. Time to put it onto our Eevee. Like I said, everything is hope for the best. These are some weird ears. All right, next step is with a brush, which I have, we're gonna spread the syrup over it on top of the bottom slice of the Castella, and then spread the whipped cream over that. So we're gonna take off the top. All right, so with our little brush, we're gonna lightly spread. We just need to lightly spread the lemon syrup. Dab, 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 dab. Speaking of making me dab, follow us on Outer Space Plays at Twitch. So after that's done, and spread the whipped cream over that. So we're gonna get a spoon, grab our whipped cream and start spreading it. It's like, what am I doing? I have one of these. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Get it nice and even now instead of using a spoon. Definitely try not to over whip your cream, otherwise it'll look a bit like this. Then place less strawberries on top of it. So now we get more cream. Blah. Just a thin layer here, here, and here. A little bit more. There. Cake. Cake. Cake and cake. Peek ahead has been done. Mm. Next, place the upper slice of the Castello on the brush with syrup. All right. Cover everything with a layer of whipped cream. Ugh. Try not to make it too moist. And by moist, I mean soggy. This one, we're just gonna do a thin layer on the top. Try to get everything covered. Well, stick, ah, as always, good enough. So we're gonna separate our browns from the remaining Castella. For this part, we need, we got our browns, but we'll just get a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is just gonna get this piece. I'm just gonna cut here, cut it in half. That will be our browns for the rest of it. Now everything else, we're just gonna cut it up just so it's easier to mush up. Goes into that bowl over here. Place the cake, sponge cake into a bowl. Use two forks to crumble it up. Okay, like this. It's like I'm digging for treasure, except the treasure is cake and more of it. Cooking is fun. So we can see over here that it's pretty mushed up. All right, now to Pop it all over to the cake. We're gonna sprinkle it on. Just go crazy, just, oh, just get on there. And now to make the face. Peek a pee. Oh no, I ruined it. Mustache. Give him a little nose. You can have a big nose, deal with it so you can see it. Now for his eyes. Now for his ears. Stay on, stay on. And there we go, we have a bunny rabbit. I mean a Pikachu. Ta-da! Yeah. And that's my Pikachu Happy Face Cake. It's not the best, but hopefully it tastes good, but we'll find out soon. But there we go, guys. Um, that's cooking without a space. If you want the uh, instructions, just come and comment at uh, our Facebook page and we're happy to send them your way if you wanna to try to outdo us here. I am no way a expert chef, but um, I definitely would love to see your attempts. But otherwise, thank you for watching today's episode. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. Outer Space Reviews on Facebook. If you wanna see what we do behind the scenes, we got Twitch, Outer Space Plays, where we'll play uh, maybe a few times a week. And then Instagram page, just to see what crazy toys we're buying. Other than that, we'll catch you next time. Have a great one, bye. Ooh, ooh, cake everywhere, bye.